Hello, today let's talk about pain, types of pain and management of pain. Also, we'll discuss about different types of pain scales. The pain describes unpleasant sensation in the body. It can be from dull ache to sharp stab and it can be ranged from mild to extreme. This can vary from one part of the body or it could be widespread. The most common causes of pain is due to some injuries, surgery or some medical conditions such as cancer and arthritis. According to the cause and the severity, the pain can be classified as acute and chronic the pain. The acute pain is the normal response to an injury. It starts suddenly and usually short-lived. Whereas in chronic pain, the pain continues beyond the time and lasts for longer than 3 months. Now let us see the pain scales. There are several well-designed pain scales used to assess the severity of one's pain. There are different types of pain scales for the conscious and unconscious patients. For conscious patients, we can use undimensional pain scales to rate the intensity of their pain. This is used by the numbers, words, images or the descriptions. Now let us see some commonly used pain scales. First one is numerical rating scale or numerical pain scale. Here we can use numbers to rate the pain. This is a most commonly used pain scale. Here the patient rates their pain on 0 to 10. 0 means no pain, 1 to 3 indicates mild pain, 4 to 6 is moderate and 7 to 10 severe. And 10 means the worst possible pain. Next one is visual analog scale. This pain scale shows a 10 cm line printed on a piece of paper with angles at either end. At one end there is no pain and at the other end there will be worst possible pain. Ask the person to mark a spot or X on the line to show their pain integrity. Then we can measure the line to know the pain score. The third one is categorical scale. This pain scale gives people a simple way to rate their pain intensity using a verbal or visual description of their pain. Example would be the words like mild, discomforting, distressing, horrible and excruciating. For children, we can assess the pain using images of faces. There are 8 different faces with various expressions. We can choose most consistent face with their current expressions to get the pain intensity. Now let us see some pain scales which is used in the critical care area. First one is behavioral pain scale. This is used for the ventilator patients. Here, we need to assess the facial expressions, upper limb movements and compliance with the ventilator. In facial expression, if the face is relaxed, we can give a score of 1, partially tightened 2, fully tightened 3 and if the person's face is grimacing, we can give 4. In upper limbs, we need to see the movements. If there is no movement, 1, partially bent 2, fully bent with finger flexion is 3 and permanently retracted is 4. Next is compliance with the ventilator. Here, if the patient is tolerating 1, coughing but tolerating the ventilation is 2, fighting with ventilator for most of the time is 3 and unable to control the ventilation is 4. The score ranges from 3 to 12. 3 is no pain and 12 is maximum pain. The next one is critical care pain observation tool. This can be used for both ventilator and unconscious patients. Here we have to see the facial expression, body movements and muscle tension. In facial expression, relaxed and neutral indicates 0, tense is 1, grimacing 2. In body movements, absence of movements 0, protection 1, restlessness is 2. In muscle tension, relaxed 0, tense or rigid is 1 and very tense or rigid is 2. The score ranges from 0 to 6. 0 indicates no pain and 6 is the maximum pain. Next, let us see the management of pain. First one is heat or cold application. Heat application is better for relieving the chronic muscle or joint pains. Cold will reduce the swelling. The physical therapies such as walking, stretching, strengthening and aerobic exercises. Massage. This is good for the soft injuries and should avoid in joints. Next is cognitive behavior therapy. This is a valuable strategy for learning to self-manage of chronic pains. Next is acupuncture. 
This is a traditional Chinese medicine. Aims to restore balance within the body and encourage it to heal by releasing natural pain relieving compounds like endorphins. Next is transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation or TEN. Here a minute electrical current pass through the skin via electrodes prompting a pain relieving response from the body. Next let us see the medical management like paracetamol. This is often recommended as the first medicine to relieve short term pain. Aspirin for short term relief of fever and mild to moderate pain. NSAIDs, non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs such as Brufen. It relieves the pain and reduces inflammation and swelling. The opioid medications such as codeine, morphine, and oxycodone. These are reserved for the severe pain or cancer pain. I hope you understand this video. If you like the video, please like and share. If you want me to update any new topic, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell button. Thank you.